Zoom to Facebook. Uh, then go preview. Go preview. How? Mafia, you to go live. Go see preview. Oh, come on. From Zoom to Facebook, straight. Uh, no, what I mean from your own Zoom, you don't see Zoom. I don't see the preview. I'm okay. You man, go call preview Facebook and tell it. Before going live. Eka rosta haiti. Vaun wiki. Mo kwe din ta si brother mi le nou. And my uh, Jack my god. Oh da ve. Rita 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Father, we thank you once again. Thank you for touching lives this morning. Thank you for healing the sick, redeeming situations for people in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for turning situations around, oh God. We glorify you once again, God. In the name of Jesus, blessed be your holy name, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we exalt you. We give you glory. We exalt you. We glorify Father, we, we say there is none like you. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness, in the splendor of your love. We say there is indeed none like you. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. Honor and majesty be ascribed to you, Lord. You are wonderful and beautiful for situation. You are too marvelous for words. You are too marvelous for words. You are too marvelous for words. Oh, glorious Father, we give you praise. Father, I love you, Lord. I worship you. I bow my heart before you, Lord, this morning. For there is none like you in all the earth. You are exalted, King of kings and Lord of lords. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you, I worship you, I worship you, I worship you, oh God, I worship you, my Father, my God, I worship you, I bow my heart before you, Lord, this morning, in absolute surrender, in absolute worship, oh Father, I love you, you're a good God, you're a good Father, oh Lord, there is none like you. Oh, my heart exalts you this morning. Uh, my soul blesses and magnifies you. Uh, King of kings and Lord of lords. Uh, the great I am. The one that who was and who is and who is to come. Uh, the one that reigns forever and is established in righteousness. Uh, oh, your glory, your glory, your glory, your glory, your glory, Lord. Uh, is beyond comprehension. We exalt you. Uh, the King that is exalted. morning, my soul sings, oh God, oh my Rabbashat, oh my God, I worship you.
Father, we're in your presence. We're in your presence. In your presence is deliverance. In your presence is prosperity. In your presence is protection. In your presence is promotion. We partake of all the fullness of your presence. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus mighty name we worship let the most blessed person this morning shout amen I'm going to preach this morning I will teach you again on renewing of the mind I'll continue my series on that but before that we're going to take what I call spiritual vaccination we're going to vaccinate ourselves against the third wave of COVID Anything that comes this semester, I mean, during this uh, period, hallelujah, hallelujah, Amen. glory to God, yeah. praise the Lord. Can you stand up with me and say this with me? Glory to God, and if you have Psalm 91, let me know if you can get Psalm 91 quickly. Not a problem. Even at home or wherever you are listening to me, all over the world on the internet, and uh, maybe a replay of this video after some time that we have been recorded. Just do this, and the presence of the Lord will overshadow you. Impossible things will happen in your life, and you will be amazed because the super of God will come upon your natural, and you will become a supernatural person in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lift up your right hands to heaven and just say this with me. In the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, for my righteousness is of the Lord. But whatever, whatever I mention your name, do whatever I do, will prosper will come to maturity. My business prospers because I'm like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water. I am delivered from the evils, evils of this present world because it is the will of God. I am delivered from premature death. I am delivered from sickness and disease. I am delivered 
from viruses, every virus, every disease germ that touches this body dies instantly in the name of Jesus. In this body, I forbid malfunctioning. I forbid diseases, diabetes, hypertension, arthritis. I forbid you in this body, cancer. I forbid you in this body, in the name of Jesus. This body is the temple of the Lord. And the quickening spirit, Holy Spirit, that quickens, that giveth light, lives in this body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hands wherever you are and just give God the glory because you are healed. You are also protected. You are vaccinated. The whole of your family is protected right now. That which you cannot do before you begin to do in the name of Jesus. I decree as you have said every tissue, every organ in your body begins to function in the perfection which God created it to function. We forbid heart failure. We forbid liver failure. We forbid kidney failure. We forbid brain failure. We forbid mild failure. In the name of Jesus, nothing will fail in your life. Nothing will be lacking in your life. In the name of Jesus, you are whole. You are whole. Your relationships are perfected. Your finances are perfected. We forbid lack in it. Even during this period. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the first phase we can sit down. Glory to God. We bless you Lord. Oh you are holy. And forever you are holy. I need to. Hallelujah. Talking about renewing the mind, let's start from Romans chapter 12 in verse 2 and then uh, Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10. That's where I will dwell on much today. Don't forget everything that I've been telling you. There are two principles I want you to write down before we read those scriptures. One is that knowledge correctly applied wins every battle. Knowledge correctly applied wins every battle. You know, we are engaged in a lot of battle in life, and the battle is always the battle of the mind. It starts. It starts in the mind. Everything, every battle is in the mind. It starts in the mind. Knowledge correctly applied wins every battle. Another way you can put it is that knowledge correctly applied will always give victory in any battle. The second one is ignorance and victory. Ignorance and victory, they don't coexist. They cannot be roommates. One of the strategies that the enemy uses is to keep you ignorant. As long as you are ignorant, you cannot win. Ignorance and victory cannot be roommates. They don't coexist. Are you with me? So in every area of life, these are principles that does not fail. And that is why the Bible encourages us in Romans chapter 12 in verse 2. He said, be not conformed to this world. Can we read together? Be and be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. 
that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect <coughs> will of God. This is an encouragement for God to us, of God to us. In every area in your, prote in your profession, you are different. The moment you receive the life of God in Christ Jesus, the moment you accepted the Lordship of Jesus, everything about you get differs from the natural man. From the natural man. Because you become born again. And your spirit is 100% like God. Are you with me? But you are still in this old body. And your mind needs to be renewed. I wish you can write this down. There are two things that we will continually do throughout life. Two things. Very important. Especially when you want to be a victor. Number one. Continuous daily renewal of our mind. It's a daily thing. Continuous, daily renewal of our mind. We will do it continuously as long as we are receiving the new body. Are you with me? And the second thing is that I won't focus, I'm not focusing on that now, but it's, the second thing is we will be releasing from our spirit. It's a daily release from our spirit, continuously. We will be daily releasing from our spirit. It's a strategy for life. For life, You will be releasing things from your spirit. Your prosperity, you will release from your spirit. Peace in your marriage, you will release from your spirit. <clears throat> your health, you will release from your spirit. Houses, cars, everything you want, you will release them from your spirit. When you change the way you think, you change your life. Are you with me? That is why one of our scriptures in Proverbs chapter 4, in verse 20, says, Guard your mind diligently. Guard your mind diligently. You see, the tactics of the enemy are subtle. Very subtle. One thing is, in the nature of influence, is very subtle. You won't even know when it is happening. Are you with me? You can easily be influenced by the strategies of the enemy. There are three things that he uses, which I have mentioned before, but I will go over them again. Thoughts. He uses three things. Thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. T-I-S. It is always sweet. If you want to remember it, remember it. It is all, it is so sweet to trust in Jesus. T-I-S. Thoughts, ideas, Suggestions, thoughts, ideas, suggestions. He will use this in every area. And you know one thing, the nature of the thought will come so softly, you will think you have to defend that thought because it's yours. It's not yours. It's not yours. It's planted there by the enemy. For example, you saw somebody, it's coming to this room. You feel like, it's just like, Give him a dirty slap. How can you do that? How can you say that kind of a thing to me or about me? You've not seen this person for a long time, but you've been angry. Even without his or her presence. <clears throat> they have blackmailed you, said bad things about you. That kind of thought is not from God. It's not from love. And you know, inside of you, you will think it's your thoughts. I, I, I spoke to somebody about a week or two ago. He said, my thoughts and my feelings are this young, this person was saying, look, I'm ready to divorce him. We must divorce him. We must divorce him. I said, that's not her. It's not her. Anything that's not written in the Bible is not yours. Are you with me? Those things will come. It will be like you are 100% right. It will be like you are 100% right. Are you with me? You will feel it's you. You will feel it's you thinking about him. Everywhere, nobody knows you. You cannot prosper in this kind of place. It's a subtle suggestion of the enemy. As born again Christians, we don't fail. <clears throat> I don't fail. I am a success. I am a success. 
Not only am I upset, uh, success, I'm excellent in everything I do. And I do excellent things. I do excellent things. I'm great. I'm great. And I do great things. You see, things like these, when they come, you don't fight them back in the battle of the mind. You don't fight them back by saying, you are thinking this way, you also think. You don't fight thoughts with thoughts. The first temptation or the trial that you ever see in life, when devil encounter man, was with Eve. Can we study that this morning? Let's see Genesis chapter 2. I want you to always remember this every day of your life. You cannot be without God. So don't be tempted to walk without God. You cannot be without God. And with God, there's nothing you cannot do. Let it be ringing in the thoughts. It's the battle of the mind that we are fighting. We are engaged in warfare. Are we not? But let's start. Thank you. You're doing this very well. Let's go. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's who we are wrestling with. Hello? That is who we are wrestling with. This form of people, this form of, this form of, group of spirits, group of, uh, what can I use to describe them? Is the, the devil we are fighting is structured into these things, principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. Mention any name of any devil, good to see you, man of God. Um, you've been in my mind for the last three or four years. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All these group of people, they have only one weapon. Only one weapon. Thoughts, ideas, suggestions. They cannot do anything to you if those three things are not in place. You will still see the way the weapons of the enemy, the arrows of the enemy, all the things that they do are structured. For any spirit to operate on earth, they have to go through us that have bodies. The devil inclusive as a fa our father God himself, because he gave the authority of this earth to us to rule and reign on this place. And we have received the gift of righteousness. Hello? I said we have received the gift of righteousness. And that is why you, your righteousness is a gift. It was given to you. Don't ever feel condemned. Hello? Don't ever feel condemned. I said to you in the last one week or something, I'll come back to this. I said, if God will count sin, no man will stand. Are you with me? Therefore, he, he chose not to count sin. He chose to be looking at his grace. And looking at his truth, look at yourself the way God looks at you. You understand? The weapons that the enemy uses against us is thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. Let's go to the next verse. Verse 13. Wherefore, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. This thing says something to us. When it says the whole armor of God, that means. For something to be whole, it must have parts. 
and the path don't work except it's old. The whole armor of God is what will protect you that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. In the evil day. And having done all to still stand. Every evil day, I told you to underline the word evil day. You understand before? Because it is, those are the things that happen when the devil manifests himself and all those things. The strategies he will use to manifest himself that he will use against you in any trial of life or any temptation of life is thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. Thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. Thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. You yourself flashback. Most of the situations and circumstances that you find yourself in the past, you will see that it's like something said to you. Can you remember something? Something said. Something said. Oh. Take unto you the whole armor of God. What are the armor of God that we should use? Because this is what we carry daily because we are daily in battle. Let's go to the next verse. Okay. Oh, no, no, here. Now, in the next three verses, Paul used analogy of a Roman soldier. Uh, he's talking about the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness. You, you can see it here. It says, stand therefore, having your loins guard about with truth. Truth, yeah, having your loins guard about with underline and having on the breast on, remember we are talking about the whole armor of God and not pieces these are the pieces and what are the pieces truth, righteousness how many have we gone through truth, truth and righteousness then and your feet short with the preparation of the gospel of peace. The gospel of peace. Do you understand? Show your feet. Gospel of peace. What is it? Your feet. Especially take targeted towards you. You see, in Nigeria, we have this thing. People will say uh, attack. People will say arrow. 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 Pepe. You see, they throw something like pepe. And it hits you. It will hit you anywhere and it comes out. And then, some people will even tell you traditionally that they want to take it out for you. We still have such things over there. Where the Sangomas do. Now come in. Hello. They will say, where did the arrow come in? Or where did the, in, in Nigeria, where Mr. comes from? <laughs> they will say, where did the pepper come from? You understand? And that they will just put it like this. And they will put their mouth. And they will suck things out. It could be maize, it could be stone, it could be bottle, it could be bead, it could be needle, it could be anything. They will suck it out. Everybody look at it. It's a deception of the enemy. It's traditional. African magic is not a thing. I was born into something that I can tell you the truth. You understand? Because those things really is not in the physical, it's in the spiritual. But for them to convince you, because you only move by what you see, so they have to show you those things physically. I was in a town, directing. 84. I went to study. I was doing my clear there. And uh, 
ideas and suggestions. Anything that tells you as a student or anything that tells a student to carry gun or carry knife to come to the school, what do you think that is? If, it's, if the devil comes and he appears with the red clothes and uh, all the horns and with his fork, the way we picture him, you understand me? You will really easily know that this is the devil and you will ignore him. You will listen to him. But when it comes softly, like thoughts, I get like, like the word of God. My auntie, my uncle's wife, all her children are older than me. So I have no other way to call her mom. Mommy will pray. Mommy will study. Mommy will ah. So in that, but I, I only went to Anglican church when I was young. And we mix it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? You're laughing as if you don't do something. I think all of you don't mix it. We mix it. Do you know what I'm saying by mixing it? God bless you. A little sangoma. A little... A little of all those uh, and because I was the first male in my family, mm, they have to cook me very well. As a matter of fact, I had to teach me I got born again. But when my younger brother got born, and my brother, my, my father called him, said, ah, 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 don't copy your brother. Ah, you, you have not eaten anything. <laughs> you, you have not, ah, 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 don't copy. See him as he is. If, if, see him, he's so strong that if a uh, soldier ants, you know soldier ants, if so that ants covers rock, they will leave the way they met it. They, ah, don't, you are not eating anything. Because all those ones are depending on what they see. Are you with me? This boy told him, said he threw me stone. And truly, I saw a mark here. You understand? As he threw the stone, I threw through the... Uh, the pepper or the arrow, it fell. It never entered me. Till date, I never feel anything. I never feel or felt anything till date. Not to even talk of when I got born again. Are you with me? You see, spiritual things are real. Many of these things that are being connoted, your mind to comprehend. And once your mind gets it, it comes into thought session. You will see that Wound begin to grow in your body where there is no wound before. It begins to decay. And all those kind of things. It is not true. It is not true. Is it to say that um, um, all those traditional things don't exist? Did I say so? Look, somebody like me tell you those things don't exist. You check my son's name, you will know from the kind of family I come from. My grandfather was reputed to be that if he's seven, do you understand? He walks with a chain that if he hits you, you must fall down. They are spiritual forces. But uh, even in occult, they still need a body to function. Are you getting it? They need the authority to act and to whom you yield that body, which will always walk through the mind. The mind is the connection between the spirit and the body. Are you with me? Body, 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 don't be focused, don't be carnally minded, don't think about the body every time. Most of 
We are led by our feelings. I felt she's doing this. She's cooking something against me. We wrestle not with flesh and blood. We wrestle not. Everybody say with me. We wrestle not with flesh and blood. That's of the wicked or arrows of the wicked, whatever, whatever it is, that is what I just explained to you. Are you telling me? Wherever you put your thoughts on, it comes big in your mouth. It becomes magnified. If you respect the enemy, so the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, demon, demon, everything, what will become big in your life will be demon manifestation. Before they talk like, say, in Jesus' name, you are on the floor. Before they say anything, you are reading like you are... <laughs> Verse 18 now says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Let's stop here. You see, praying always. Many people don't know the reason why we pray more. And this prayer is always in the spirit. When I tell you that when you come here, every morning start with praying in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. It's because of things like this. Yeah, we are limited in our imagination and thinking. Except God opens our eyes. God knows all things. We don't know. For example, last week, the enemy tries to fire another dart. Uh, Minister Kenny called me. Some people came. This, 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 this. It didn't move. By the time I come here today, it's not even there. The, the attack is not even there. Are you with me? But the, the thing about it, the, all these attacks of the enemy is this. It will always come to you in ideas, thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. Immediately they say something. The thought will come to you. Ah, I want to close that Ah, they're using that person. So, they, 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 they. Um, that devil is using that person to do this. this I'm going to fight that person. That didn't go away. He's the one causing this problem for me. Nobody is causing any problem. If you would change your thoughts along that line and think the thought of God, you will not have idea or suggestion. Go and give me. Mm. Write a letter to um, home of yours. What is it that is good? Thoughts. There is an area, all what they do is write petition. They will write petition. A woman wrote that against us here. Where is she today? You understand what I'm saying? Wrote petition against us, against God. Wrote it to the highest authority, federal, uh, I mean, the highest national, provincial, and uh, metropolitan, local. Wrote, everybody has it in their email. Who were compassion against you? You, know, you are not fighting your battles on you are with God. There is no situation that can make you be without God. Let's come back to it. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. If you don't know the reason why you should pray sometimes, this is one. Praying how many times a day? Five times a day. What is always? Look, brother, make it a habit. Whenever you are praying in the spirit, you are talking to God. The most spiritual people that I know, they have two characteristics. They pray in the spirit and they meditate a lot. The most spiritual people that I know. Many of what you call spirituality out there is carnality. Show. The most spiritual people I know, the most spiritual people Bible knows, they pray in the spirit a lot and they meditate a lot. Do you know why? When you are praying in the spirit, you're talking to God. When you are fellowshipping with God, it's easy to hear from him. And when you meditate a lot, you'll be hearing from him. He will be telling you, he'll be speaking to you. And then, whoever you walk with, like, you know, 
you will become light. Or like Satan, you will become light. Nature of influence, like I said, is subtle. The nature of influence is subtle. Even though in English language, they will say, show me your friend. So that means, if I see the two of you, I know the kind of person you are. If that means, for two to work together, they must agree. He right. That is why we work with godly, work with the wise, show the company of food. Are we together? Now, when you put all these things together, now let's take off. Let's take off in that Ephesians chapter. If we read something like Ephesians chapter 6, take off all the imagery of the soldier. Take it off. So that you get that picture. I don't want you to get confused. Because the solution that we do, the, the victory that we have, the armor that we have is here. And that is, you know, he's talking about the armor that we have, the whole armor. You get it? Look, when you take, get what I'm saying, I'm not saying cut off your Bible for the advantage of brethren. I said it will read like this. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wives of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, the armor now. Take unto you the whole armor of God. May be able to stand in the evil day, whatever day that it comes, and having done all to stand, stand, stand there for this gospel of peace. Above all, taking faith, right? Faith, salvation, sword of the spirit, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Did you get it? Did you get it? This is a daily thing. This is a daily thing. The consciousness of I submit to you this morning. What is saying to us is to carry the Bible knowledge. What you know about your, the truth of the word of God. Truth is what? The word of God. Gospel of peace, word of God. Um, salvation, word of God. Faith, word of God. Sword of the Spirit, that is in the word of God. Faith in the Spirit. When you walk consciously with your Bible, the Spirit, daily, you become, you become a hot fire for the enemy. He cannot attack you. He can dare you, but he will always lose. And let me tell you something. This is the victory that we have as children of God. We always win. From now on, change the way you think. Think. Are you with me? Carry, especially along that area, carry the Bible consciousness that you know. What did the scripture say about prosperity? The laws of success are not. The laws of prosperity are not hard. Are you getting me? Well, go and meditate. Get the word simple deep down into your heart and tell your tongue not to speak evil. This came to me, and I wish you could write it. Don't let your word be more important than the word of God. Don't let your word, what you have to say, the ideas that you have to put across, the thoughts that you have to put across, don't let it be more important than the word of God because those things will be laden with the thoughts of the devil. You know what are vehicles that thoughts pass through? And I told you, thoughts are spiritual right from the beginning. Can you remember? Thoughts are spiritual. Don't let your word be more important than the word of God. 
let the word of God be more important to you in saying it. Because the ex exhibition of the Lordship of Jesus over you is to control what you do. A Lord controls what you do. If you check normal definition of the word authority, somebody that you put that you that has the authority over you is to influence you in a certain lifestyle. Are we together? I began studying authority. I began studying authority last week. And I know who has Wikipedia here? Check this out. Wikipedia. Do you? Okay, I'll leave it. Maybe I'll leave it because of time. You can check it when you get to uh, the nature of it. It has to involve people, lifestyle, a certain principles. Ah, I didn't get to the temptation of Eve, the temptation of Jesus. I will overcome it. But I get to things that are important today. The weapons of our warfare. Which I say is the word of God and praying in the spirit. I think you can get to that because I'm supposed to get to 2 Corinthians 10 in verse 3 to 5. I will still continue. I'm going to continue in 2nd Samuel anyway. If you would like, you can stay for the 2nd Samuel. I told you that thoughts, ideas, and suggestions are the main instruments that the devil used against us. You may ask, what about those demons? What about those things that they attack people in the night and everything? No. The way they attack me is the way they attack me, they attack everyone. There is nothing there. It's empty. If you don't take it and entertain it as your thoughts and ideas and suggestions, if you don't take them, if you don't take them, they will never materialize. Nothing in the physical hand. Um, are you with me? The laws of the physical are different. For example, Okay, okay, one of them again, which the Bible is perfect. Look at the second temptation of Jesus. I will still get into Luke chapter 4, we will study it in detail. He wanted Jesus to commit suicide by dropping off from the distance, from the pit of the church or mount, wherever he took him to the room. You understand? He wants him to jump and say, Let's you dash your foot against anything, the angels of God will die. Will carry you, but Jesus answered. Him. Are you with me? Every if you look, notice every temptation that Jesus had, he answered back with, "It is written. It is written." And the third one in particular, instead of saying it is written, he said, "It has been said. It has been said." Apart from it is written, it is written. Then you say it is written. You say it is written. Then you can go back up. It has been said. We have said some things early in the morning. Can you remember? That is why it's working for us. I've known people that have been living by this principle for more than 60 years. And I've known people that have been living with this principle for 84. If it worked for them, it will work for us. A man went home recently at the age of 89. Freddie Casey Pratt. He wrote about this. He wrote about this tremendously. And if a man that was born in a dysfunctional home can rise to become a hero all over the world, known in every planet, it will work for you. The kingdom you are in is the kingdom of greatness. You cannot afford to be small. The kingdom you are in, the kingdom of being born again, the kingdom of life, the kingdom of Jesus Christ is a kingdom of prosperity. You cannot be poor. It's not possible. All you need to know is to act who you are. Especially in the trials of life. Every battle is in the mind. Let me tell you something, one secret, which I want you to go home with. We'll take our offering from here after that. You don't study how to be a girl or a boy. You act it out unconsciously. Hello? You don't act male or female. Do you? You just act it. That is why even some people that pretended to, they get confused at some point. 
They confuse themselves. They confuse evil people who are looking at them. The same way with who you are in the kingdom, with who you are in the kingdom, you are a winner. You don't lose. You don't fail. You are a success. All you need to do is just walk in it and not be afraid. Are you with me? Of course, you know, fear is a strategy of the enemy to Christian. But everything will always come through thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. Thoughts, ideas, and suggestions is what the devil will use against you in the battle of your mind. But your weapons, the weapons of your warfare, they said they are not kind of, they are powerful. You understand? And these weapons are the truth of the word of God. Number two, truth. Are you writing down? Righteousness. 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 How many righteous? If I see you not lifting up the right, ask. Thank you. You are righteous. Everybody say righteousness. righteousness. Oh, something, something is going on me here. Do you remember in the garden of in the garden of the Bible says the voice of God was walking in the garden. You understand? You are the voice of God for this day. When you walk, righteousness is walking. When you walk, truth is walking. When you walk, the righteousness, the faith of God in my manifestation is working. I am not controlling. I'm telling you the truth. When you walk in the corridors of your hospital or, or your in your profession, in the classroom, the righteousness of God is teaching. When you are teaching, the righteousness of God is teaching. Wherefore, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he's a new man. All things that behold, all things that become new. The new about you is the righteousness of God, and everything about you is of God. We're not just talking about being glad. You come out of God. Hello, you come out of God. If that doesn't give you victory over anything, I don't know what else can give you. That somebody will come from somewhere and chant incantations against you, and uh, they are preaching in the physical. Witchcraft, they said, is a work of the flesh. You understand me? If you study it, you will see that it's the work of the flesh. It's something that people can do. You can study to be. Amen. Oh, I won't be praising the devil for you. Even traditionally, locally, there are some certain things that you will do that even if you are not inducted as a witch, you can become one on your own. You study medicine. I mean, you do certain medicine, medicine, medicine. You become like one of them. And they will even respect you. But those are kind of the weapons of our warfare are mighty. And it's the word of God that you carry consciously daily. You carry them daily. You walk it. When you go, when you start, the world wakes up. That is why you cannot afford, because you are of God, to do anything evil. You don't want anything to be giving you second thoughts. Sin makes cowards of men. Are you with me? Glory to God. We'll continue in the second service. We'll continue in the second service. Let's stand up. Chapter 6, in verse 38. Let's give him praise for this day. Let's give him praise. Let's stand up on our feet. Oh,